What's going on, guys? Today we're going to work in some JavaScript, take a break from the WordPress tutorial. I'm going to show you Airbnb's Lottie and how to deploy an application using the React Create app in Zite. It should be fun. So, hopefully, you guys stick around. Um, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy. Zite or <laughs> Reverso allows you to deploy serverless applications. It allows you to spin up a website pretty quickly, um, develop with lots of different templates that they have, and then ship it out. I'm going to kind of walk you through what it all does, and in this demo we're going to be using Zite to deploy a Node application. The main objective of this application is to understand Lottie, and then also just work with the Verso platform and just show you how quickly it is to deploy with Verso. Right off the bat, um, you can see that Verso is being used pretty heavily. If you look at the different templates that they have, um, there's a free version to deploy. If you pay, it allows you to bring in your own DNS so you can host your websites on their app. So Lottie is animations built by Airbnb. A lot of animations are built in Adobe After Effects and you can export them as JSON and import them into your code. A lot of these uh, fun little animations you see are built using Lottie, but it uses the web player to display these graphics. They should work on all browsers, all devices. We'll be doing ours on web today. But yeah, so let's get started. So with Virtual, it allows us to choose a template that we like and then get moving on a project so we're gonna choose one of the templates here I'm going to be using react here um, side note Next.js is pretty sweet let me know if you guys want to see a video on that so here's a react template okay so with verso or Zeiss you have to make sure that you implement your repo so you have to give it access to your repo when you first create your project you can push your build out of your branch and you'll be able to see it flow through verso which i'll show you in a minute and then when everything looks good you know you can check the url make sure it looks good and then you can go to your prod by merging your branch into master. So right now, Verso is creating the application for us. I believe they use AWS in the back end to spin everything up. So it is pretty quick for us to just create an app and then be serverless. So I can get started right away. So if we go over to GitHub, check our repositories here. This is already here for us to create React app and the readme tells you how to deploy. So yeah, if you go through this log, you can see it's trying to build everything. Um, having a template's really nice because I don't know if you guys have ever tried to create a React app from scratch. It can be pretty tedious. The Create React app is obviously the easiest way to work through whatever projects you need. Okay, so it's done. And then if we go out to our site, okay, so it's Create React app with Go deployed on Versal. So let's uh, get our repository down. Here we have the React app that um, Verso built for us. So the repository is already up. We pulled down the repo and now we'll walk through what it's doing here. So we have our home page and then if you remember it already has a .sh link to it. So we have our app.js page and then uh, the template looks like it already starts out with some tests for us. And this is using Go, so that's pretty cool that it has a Go template built into it. I'm not going to go over anything with Go as of today, but it is something worth checking out. Um, so Go to take on C. But yeah, so if we go here, now ignore is basically like a get ignore what things you don't want uploaded to your server. Get ignore will exclude files from your git commit, so you don't add things like secret keys. So with this readme, I'm going to make sure I add the URLs for you guys. We'll get Lottie in there, and then Zite slash Verso, we'll add that in there too. And then another uh, website we're going to work with today is the Lottie files, which I'll walk you through. So if we look at the Lottie, what we want to do is go to the developer docs and see how to get started. Um, so this takes us through the docs on a web player. So like I, like I mentioned, on the web, it uses HTML web player, and we'll want to install Lottie here. 
So that should build that for us. And if we check our package JSON, we now have Lottie Web. Another tool I'm gonna show you guys. So if we walk through the Lottie documentation from Airbnb, it allows you to render different SVGs and set animation data. And then if you look at this example, it's all based off of the um, tag that you're using. So this element is our DOM tag that we see here. But with React, I'm gonna show you guys another library we can use. There is a React version of Lottie, so that's pretty nice. We're gonna use that, which it still uses Lottie, of course, so installing this package would have installed the Lottie package. But React Lottie is what we're gonna use here. So let's go back to our screen and make sure that we have our components working properly. Um, so let's create a components section and then we'll call this our Lottie component. And we'll have to import React. Um, and then we will make sure this works, Lottie component. We'll build the Lottie component, won't take anything in for now. And we'll return a div of hello. That's how I like to get started, make sure I can see what I'm doing. So if we come back to the app.js here, we'll import that. Lottie component. Okay, so now we've imported our Lottie component and we will render it inside of this app here. And then uh, we should make sure that that should work for us. Uh, so we, uh, <laughs> we're looking at the deployed instance of Versa right now, but what we want to do is see our local changes. So we actually need to start the application. We'll need to run dev here. I'll just run it down here. Um, so while that's loading, I'll show you guys what the Lottie files look like. So this this is a pretty cool website. Um, it's kind of a website that I've been exploring more recently. Just seeing all these different animations that people are building are pretty cool. I haven't made any myself. I'm not a Adobe expert, but it's definitely something that I would consider to play with. So I think we'll just kind of go through this and find a few cool ones. Uh, so with the Lottie animations, you can stop it, play it. Um, some of these can rotate. And if you download it, you can import Lottie JSON, which uses an export tool to convert your Adobe After Effects into this JSON file which is pretty big. And you can also just use the animation URL to view what that JSON looks like. But okay, yeah, so this is done. Let's go to our app now. npm run dev. We'll get our server started. If we go to localhost 3000, my component does not contain, oh yeah. So, of course, forgot to export. Okay, so we see our hello, which is what we made. So this Lottie component, um, like I mentioned, we'll have to import Lottie into our React application. So import Lottie from, we're gonna use the React Lottie. Let's check out their documentation. Okay, so they actually use a capital L, not a lowercase. But otherwise the rest of it should be pretty straightforward. So it looks here, uh, they're using a class, but you'll just import the animation you want, the animation data, and then you can render it here. So let's import the configuration stuff, and then we'll be able to get started, which it really is, it really is just the same as what the load animation is but they're abstracting some of those calls into an options. But if you look at it, it's pretty much the same. So there's nothing wrong with a little bit of copy paste, save us some typing.
So this animation data is actually referencing a file here. So if we choose one of the files, so I'll show you a few ways to do this. So we can download the file and then we will create a new folder in here, call it Lottie's. Okay, so now we have these Lottie animation files. Um, just to show you guys if we import one of these. So you see it uh, shows up right away. And then if we wanted to change like the height and the width. But another thing we could do is use a path. Let's try out this one. You're either going to use the animation data or you're going to use a path. It won't accept both. So you'll need to decide there. Oh, that's not that. You'll need to decide there what you're wanting to do with it. So you see now I'll grab the other one. Um, and since we made this React component, let it take in props and then set the URL pathing based off of the props. So we'll set our height and width and then um, that will just allow us to set everything properly without having to mess with the function too much. So what we're going to want to do is clear this out and call this props.url and we actually could set state here using hooks so using the hooks when this first starts up it will set the state here based off of the initial state and then let me grab the other url So we'll actually use the use effect here. This actually will fire off once. It will save you from accidentally having infinite loads. What can happen is the use effect will um, happen after the render and if you're basing your state on a change and that change happens frequently then you're kind of out of luck. Um, so it can be really easy to update your state in an infinite loop so make sure that you add that properly we could even base it on the URL so when the URL changes then we know hey it's time to update state okay so if we save that now so I loaded both of them, uh, we'll just add a third one for good measure, and then we'll, de we'll deploy this out so you can see what Bristol is doing now. Clean this up a little bit, get you guys out of here, and let's actually allow you to change the names here. Um, so we'll add a name component so that it doesn't all say Lottie Test. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Now that we've made these changes, we'll deploy it using now. Um, to use now, you have to install it. So if you look at the markdown that came with the documentation, it tells you how to set up the now CLI. We'll commit, um, we'll commit to master. Okay, so now we're pushing now and it just got queued up it is nice that it shows us what's happening so we don't have to go to the website every time um, and if you look at the package details I believe the pricing model is set for a certain amount of deploys per week so we're on the free tier here if you did build production applications you would probably have really high throughput of being able to just build your stuff quickly not having to wait in a queue all that kind of stuff so don't forget to check out these guides see some of the stuff that people are doing with verso it's pretty cool um, I definitely will be using it more for some of these demos just to get things out there faster you can check out the documentation as well um, a lot of a lot of different stuff you can do we barely scratch the surface so that looked like it deployed let's see now Okay, so it did push out to our environment. You can see that 
this is our dev and then if we go back and check the master it pushed out too um, if you want to avoid pushing the master make sure you create a different branch and deploy it easier now and then once you merge into master and push that up it will deploy your production but yeah so that's pretty much it um, just to recap we deployed a react app using verso which is our serverless deployment tool it's more than a tool but it uh, deploys our applications pretty easily it has a lot of different templates we can choose from and just uh, overall is pretty quick to play with so you know besides creating an account everything is fast um, we can look through the documentation and find other stuff I'll save that for you guys to do but all the different templates that they have just really makes development easy so we had to create react app in minutes after that first build and then I showed you guys Lottie which is Airbnb's tool for animations um, so Lottie is pretty sweet this will work on all of your browsers in your mobile apps whatever and the documentation I'll make sure to link in the description yeah so what we did was we built a create react app demoed how Lottie works and then deploy that out using Verso to each of our environments under our own domain so you could actually hit this website and boom so that's our Lottie demo um, hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoy making it demoing this stuff to you guys if there's anything specific you want to see just comment below give me a thumbs up please like my video and allows me to keep going I want to know that you guys are enjoying this stuff um, don't forget to subscribe if there's anything else you want to see just let me know but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video